I'm Deep Bar Buzzer. <laughs> and we're here in Vegas! So hey up, it's Team Park Bazza here with... This is Bazza. And welcome to our full day in Las Vegas from the uh, MGM Grand. Um, I'll put a link up here to yesterday's vlog. A couple of things, just a couple of things didn't mention yesterday that maybe we should have done was um, the re pub we were in, they do have a happy hour mm. all day Saturday, one of the few ones, and the Guinness there was only $9 for a pint of Guinness, so that's a pretty, pretty, good. Good, pretty good deal there. Uh, the other thing I don't think we mentioned was how we got here from the airport. Um, you can get a taxi, but we took an Uber because I've been fleeced on taxis before going the long way around. So if you want an Uber, you pick your bags up from the baggage hall, you go up to level two, and then um, the Ubers are there and just use the Uber app. It's about 20 bucks to get us from here, we're the nearest hotel. So it's probably 40, 50 down the other end of the strip, isn't yeah. it? When you're going down there, but they're uh, available any time. So what else did we miss yesterday? Um, oh, the other reason we booked in the MGM, it's like the third or fourth biggest hotel in the world. So there's a lot of rooms mm -hmm. and it's very cheap. Monorail. So, oh, monorail. <laughs> yeah. There you go, Lee. Monorail. Yeah, that's the, uh, we're going to go on that um, sometime this week. And I have some vouchers that I'll show you later on on the, um, the games I was playing to get a free ticket, so well, one free ticket to go on there. The monorail runs all the way down there and all the way down to the uh, Hilton at the other end of the strip. So I'm just saying, big hotels, so big hotels have lots of rooms. It's a weird hotel, because when you normally check in places, there's like a lot of people coming in in the morning, yep. a lot of people leaving in the evening. You can walk out that door anytime, and night or day, packed. and there's people with suitcases coming and going. And even we got off on the wrong floor last night. Yeah. Yes, welcome to the 25th floor, not the 24th floor, which is below <laughs> us. And we tried to get in the room below and then realized when we looked on the phone, again, they have a phone app I showed in last week's vlog, yes, yeah, last time's vlog, around how you can get into the room and we saw we were on the wrong floor. But these rooms are like a very big, uh, very quiet, as in the well isolated. Mm -hmm. Two things if you're coming from the UK, I would bring an extension with you because there's no USBs at all in the room. So I normally have like an extension with three sockets and four USBs in I bring. Um, so that'd be a good thing for the room. Mm -hmm. Also, there's no tea and coffee making facilities here. They want you to get out your room and be in the casino, don't they? Spending money. Spending money. So we're going to nick down to Starbucks. We're going to try and do this trip on a budget. We'll show you the cheapest places to go. Happy hours, food, because she's Yorkshire. Doesn't Not like that to, cheap. Doesn't like to spend money. So we're going to do that. Um, and then um, also, you say we're going to do it on the cheap. The other thing is, you might have to bring a kettle with you, a travel kettle or something. Or I know Ricardo's family vlogs, watch them. They were here um, last week or the week before. They went down and bought a coffee maker from the, um, from the local shops. We also went down to local shops last night. What we did last night was go to, there's a Walgreens, there's a Target. Mm, they need Target. There's an ABC store and we got some sandwiches and drinks and brought them back to the room and did some planning for the rest of the trip. So there's another tip, when we go down the strip, I'll show you those, but instead of buying sandwiches and things in the hotels, it's a four minute, five minute walk. Um, drink as well, alcohol, booze, tourist stuff. Literally, it's just down from the Las Vegas Hilton, but they're all the way down the strip. You will save yourself a ton of money just buying food, and especially if you've got kids with you, snacks, sandwiches, buying them from there, bring them back to the room. And if you go later in the day as we did, there's 10% off the, uh, some of the sandwiches for today. Yorkshire deals for a Yorkshire <laughs> girl. So come with us, we're gonna get downstairs, we're gonna get a coffee, probably from Starbucks, and then we're gonna go on hunt today, it's Sunday. So we're gonna go and try and find ourselves a Sunday lunch, aren't Sunday we? Roast. Proper Sunday roast, so come along with us. So this is how close you are to the airport. There is the airport, right there, across from the hotel. Now it was called the McLaren International Airport up to Tuesday this week, and it's been named after Senator Harry Reid, who passed away recently, so the airport's been renamed as the uh, Harry Reid International Airport. That's the uh, entrance to the MGM. That was, used to be the Hooters Hotel across the now, it's like the Oyo. And there you see there is the, uh, the airport. So it did cost us $20 on an Uber to come just this far. So there you go, and the helicopters go from there. If you helicopter to us, just go from around that side of the, uh, of the airport. So we're gonna go and get some coffee. It's only like uh, 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning. Most of these places don't open till 11. So don't expect to be a lot to do in the mornings. <laughs> oh, 
Only in Vegas. Only in Vegas. We found the Starbucks in Omega too, haven't we, Max? Yeah, but it's closed. Mm. Maybe someone gets breakfast, wasn't it, all the time? What else is around here? What do you fancy? Coffee wasn't bad there yesterday. Yeah. That was 28 bucks for uh, two biscuit breakfast sandwiches and two coffees. See, Johnny Rockets also do a breakfast here as well. Most doing like pancake breakfasts, most around the 12 bucks. Not bad for Vegas. We're gonna go down the strip in a few days and find some uh, uh, Hashigogo, I think, and try breakfast there, proper breakfast. But just looking to put us on, so we're gonna go for a big lunch today at uh, Find a Sunday roast. We'll go and grab it. The thing I like about this food court is there's lots of eating and it's open. And the food's already here. So Max has got them. It's fine with the, uh, it's nice actually, with the cheese on. And Max is without the cheese on. Red hot. Here you go, have a look. It's pretty good, it's got maple bacon and it's cooked fresh. On an English muffin, so, very good. So we're, uh, we about to get on the monorail, yeah. Yeah. We, we spent this morning booking. By the way, the breakfast sandwich was 450 calories, if you're interested. We found out, checked on it, but it wasn't too bad. So we spent this morning booking trips. We are about to head down to where, Max? Oh, that's the monorail. Monorail! Monorail! Right behind us. Um, we got some monorail tickets as well. Uh, I'll explain later on about the app that we used, that you should use if you're coming to Vegas, because we bought a few things on it so far, haven't we? And where are we going? We're going to Ballas. Yeah. And then we're going to the... Atomic museum. The atomic museum. The atomic bomb museum that Maxim fancied to go to. And then we're going to go and scout an English breakfast. So come along with us. What's coming, Max? What's coming, Max? Monorail! Do you want to face forward or not at the back? Please hold the handrail firmly at all times. Next stop northbound is Valley's and Paris Las Vegas station. Welcome aboard. Federal law requires all passengers wear a mask while riding. Failure to comply may result in denial of boarding or removal. This monorail continues northbound. Next stop, Flamingo Caesars Palace station. For the luxury theming down here in the monorail station. Some concrete over there. There's a monorail. Monorail! Oh, you just walk out, dude. Well, you need a ticket. You need a ticket. So here we are. Uh, we got the monorail and then we got an Uber because we're running out of time. This place closes at three today. Yeah. You need a good two and a half hours. It's already past 12 o'clock. So we've got an Uber down and we're going to go in here and top tip. Where did you get a deal on this one, Maxine? Groupon. Groupons. If you're going to go to any of these places, Groupon, I think. Uh, do you know how much the ticket was each? It was supposed to be $24 each. It should be $24 each. each and I got it 26 for both of us. Yep. So Groupon is your friend. Always check them out. Check for coupons. Check for deals for all the things. Um, like we, we've talked later on about the monorail and we got the deal on and all that kind of stuff. So let's go in there and see if uh, we can film inside the National Atomic Testing Museum. No, I'm just going to show the things on the tickets on the door. You're not going to miss it. It's a simulation of a bomb. It's a big set of metal doors and they open up every 15 minutes. So just get them before the doors close because it gets dark. And, okay. and then restrooms are straight back to your right. And then here is a list of all the movies that play in that theater to your left. Um, there's a lot of them, so if there's something specific you want to watch, you can take that sheet and use that QR code to watch them all later for free on YouTube if you'd like. Okay. And if you have any questions, just ask. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So it shows you in chronological, chronological order how you walk around the uh, different areas in time. Um, we also got another thing, they're showing some movies that you can click in and watch as well as we're going in. You have to wear your masks, but I've just seen uh, Robbie the Robot in here. Uh, Recognize him, anybody from the from the movies? Together we will learn. Together we will learn. Together we will learn. 
I don't think it's the original, it's somebody's built a model of it, but yeah, from the Forbidden Planet movie, Robbie the Robot. Yeah. Things about memories. So it's, we're going to walk around here and look at some of the stuff. I'll look at some of this stuff. Some stuff like Barry's got back in Virginia. Okay, let's go and uh, let's go and do things. Oh, look at this as well. Goodness gracious. I haven't even got in yet and I'm getting excited. One of the original Apple machines. The Macintosh Plus. There's the uh, timeline of the Apple releases. Hard disk, 10 megabytes, 4 grand. Kids will never know what it was like. Oh, look at this, a Commodore 64. Who had a, who had a Commodore 64? Keith will remember this. And the floppy drives. They haven't got the cassette thing in here. But uh, oh yeah, and uh, kids coded phones. What we used to have to lug around in the early days when we were recording with camcorders. And uh, what uh, Nick and Lee started with back in the day. The crank, hand crank one with when they started vlogging. One of the kidding guys. Love you really. Okay, let's uh, get on the museum tour. So I think this we might need these with COVID coming in. These might be the things that we're all going to have to wear in the future. Hopefully not. Okay, let's go into the museum. Oh, floppy disks. Floppy disks, look at those, kids. I haven't got the big ones, those are messed off. Oh, wow. Oh, I had one of those, uh, I had one of those iPods. I remember them. You remember them, do you? And these are palm, palm um, pilot things that you used to have. Show that to my phone collection. How far we have come in such a short time. Okay, let's go and uh, start the tour. I was wrong. The words I spoke I've been saying many things that are hurtful Your tears shed eyes Your fragile mind Cause I'll be dancing on my own tonight I know December is hard to call you lots of pain But I did not mean to let you down this way But I know deep inside I let your smile fade We just had through a little simulation of a bomb going off and really the history we're learning about here was the Second World War kicking things off and then they were testing in the Pacific and then they started testing here in Nevada like we say has became a bit of a, a um, a tourist attraction and then there was a lot of uh, legislation came in after fallout testing underground so now we're at the point here where bunkers were built and they drilled and they um, tested bombs underground they had cameras that they put down there to watch it and then they had test equipment here in bunkers with chart recorders and all these kind of things to actually track the uh, effects of the bomb and in this particular one on this first site when they put it in they built a bunker and they exploded a bomb above it and the whole bunker got pushed down three feet um, two to three feet because of the compression of the bomb above it so some uh, pretty interesting things to uh, see here but i did not mean to let you down this way but i know deep inside i let your smile fade away talking to a lot of people who used to work here their whole thing was about protecting the uh, freedom of the country and all the people protesting were protesting about you know the bombs and there was kind of this thing of everybody who worked there really believed they were doing the right thing and thought they were doing it for the freedom of the people and are convinced that the work they did here testing helped um, eventually end the cold war and stop a nuclear war you can make your own opinion upon that as to what you think but um, people here just from the interviews you've seen of people who worked here strongly believe that they uh, stopped a potential third world war and um, uh, really put an end to all the nuclear testing due to all the work they put in here as a deterrent as a nuclear deterrent 
it wasn't just the US, it was Europe, it was the UK, it was India, it was uh, uh, Russia, of course, all countries of the world developing these nuclear uh, deterrents um, so that uh, nobody would be left out and nobody could be uh, the one to be seen as the weaker nation. So, uh, very interesting review uh, on the uh, psychology of the time and the fact that, like I say, that Las Vegas really took it as a tourist attraction and you saw those fusion and all the toys they built and theming and everything had the word atomic in it in the 50s and the naivety of people not realizing how serious this was and a lot of cases that gung-ho let's do it and see what happens and then suffering the consequences as opposed to you know sort of sitting down and thinking about it but yeah you know, that's the, the way of the world and the way things happened back then in the 1940s and 50s you didn't know what you didn't know and the only way to do it was to try it and uh, be damn the consequences but as one woman said on the recording there of all the testing they did and everything they built, to her it wasn't worth the life of the people who were lost and one person who was lost through the fallout or through radiation because um, they weren't kept safe by the government doing the tests as they were promised. I spoke I've been saying many things that are hurtful So this is a model of Fat Man the bomb that they dropped on to uh, Japan and Nagasaki and Hiroshima that did all the uh, you know the first nuclear explosion that ended the war but um, caused a lot of devastation what kind of blows me away we've just come through the gift shop it's you know there's t-shirts and hats and people are wearing it like celebrating it's a, a good thing which kind of just, uh, yeah, very sobering visit to the museum today. I think we need a beer after this. <laughs> well, we've just come out, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, been in about two hours, about two to two and a half hours probably. Yeah, about that. Right, if you want to read every piece of information, it's more like a four hour mm. event in there. Uh, very sobering to be in there. Uh, you can get deals, of course, like we said on um, Groupon. Groupon to go in there. Very sobering, very interesting going into the mindset of the people in the 1950s and kind of it's the same sort of thing with the Apollo space race it was like don't really know what we're doing so we're gonna try it I mean there's great successes but at the end of the day there's also losses of people from that so it's interesting coming out through the gift shop I had no interest in buying any no. t-shirts or anything to promote it and say look at this test set you know that's my my personal thoughts on that was um you know it's part of the time part of the history you had to accept that's what it was but walking around with t-shirts promoting the atomic testing and yeah, the bomb a bit weird. <laughs> yeah it seemed a bit weird to us maybe that's just us but uh, yeah definitely come down here if you're in worth well, a good half day here if you're in las vegas to kind of understand that whole 1950s 1960s mm. culture and what drove that from the second world war and how it, it's doing today but um it's now uh, after two o'clock in the afternoon, so we're going to head over to the Crown and Anchor for our Sunday lunch. Let's get an Uber and let's head over to the Crown and Anchor. Hello, so here we are at the Crown and Anchor and uh, full disclosure, we've been here many times before, haven't we? Yeah. I uh, hope it's as good as normal. We've been here for Christmas dinner and Boxing Day and pubs. It's a, it's a British pub. It's basically across from the airport. It's about a 40 minute walk from the MGM, which we have done before. Yeah. Though we've been getting soft in his old age and getting Ubers up here like we did now. Uh, it's on 24 hours, uh, owned by English people, and usually has good English grub and some of the biggest Yorkshire puddings you're going to find. Mm -hmm. So we're here on a Sunday, we're here for our Sunday roast. Let's see if it's as good as it was. I think we brought down an Adam here as well last time, didn't we? Yes, but, I think we did. So this is one of our favourite places for, uh, it used to be, two years ago, uh, for a Sunday lunch. Let's come in, let's go and see if it's still as good. Oh, anyway, without you, without you again. 
I'm gonna have a lager and black. So yeah, we'll, we'll wait for that. So it's like, comes up. But it's arrived and the Yorkshires are still as big as I remember. Do you remember, Max? Yeah, are these big? Yeah. Nice. Your lamb. So we've got a mix of lamb and beef, peas, potatoes, mint sauce as well as you remember. And a huge, that's my hand. That's your Yorkshire pudding. It's Max's. <laughs> Need a bit more gravy to go with it, don't we, Max? More gravy. I think I'm done. Are you, Max? Yeah, I'm done. Didn't quite do as well as you. And his first lager as well. Yeah, yeah lag out. What are you? Hey, eh? what are you? So we've just got the bill, and it is 62.59 for two of us. The drinks were seven bucks. Well, those were 7 25 It's expensive over there, lager and black. Seven bucks for my lagers. And then the meals were 18 25 two of those. So that's 62 59 before tip. So that's not bad. Not bad. Thing, Max? It was good. Yeah? Really good. As good as always. I think it was better than last time. I think it was better than last time. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they've improved in two years. So, uh, yeah, full now. I think we'll have to walk back. So, we're back where we started. What do you think? It was good. Yeah? Yeah. I would say better than before. So, uh, Good meal, uh, and while we're eating in there, uh, we just saw that we hit a 2,000 subscribers. So, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. We never thought when we started this channel 18 months ago that 50 people, five people, 10 people would even be interested in all the craziness we do. So, we uh, appreciate each and every one of you for watching the channel and uh, for taking the time out to like and subscribe. We really appreciate that. So, uh, it's been a good day, good. and we're going to have a walk back now to the hotel about 40 minutes. Yep, try and walk. Some try and walk some of this off. off. Need to walk for about four hours, I think, but <laughs> 40 minutes. Here we go. Hello, it's a bit later in the evening, isn't it, Max? It is. So it's very noisy here. Hope you can hear us. We'll lean into the mic. We're in a place called. We're in a place called the American Bar and Grill. And this is in uh, the M Shops, isn't it? They've got the M Shops. And we're having just a few drinks. Max has got a your normal R rum, was it? Coconut rum with a splash. I got my vodka. So we're going to have just a snack here, but this is the place we're not going to try this trip. But if you like your breakfast, this is a place to come here because they have a um, classic breakfast. It used to be cheaper, but it, as you'll see on here, it's all day. And it's $7.95. It's one of the cheapest breakfasts you can get on the strip. And you get to sit outside on the strip as well. It's external dining, but you're not gonna, we're not going to hear a lot because it's uh, very noisy in here. We're just going to get a couple of appetizers because we're still full yeah. from our dinner seven hours ago. Yeah. Uh, and, and a drink. But um, it's definitely a place to check out if you like a cheap breakfast in uh, Las Vegas. Oh, and we were missing our cups of tea dreadfully in the room. And most of the Starbucks in the MGM have shut down. There's only one running now, as you saw in the vlog earlier. So um, Michael Ricardos, if you're watching his vlogs in Vegas, uh, we're copying you a bit, Michael, because we have just been to Target and bought... You see it there? Yep, we bought ourselves a kettle for the room. 15 bucks. That will be about uh, three teas. And we have all the tea bags with us, don't we? We brought. So we got some um, some coffee mate milk, and we're just going to steal some sugar from one of the food courts nearby, and we should be good. So thanks, Mike, for the tip. And anybody coming here, yeah, no tea and coffee making facilities. Pay in the hotels or uh, bring your own kettle or go buy one. Top tip. So I got the buffalo wings and Max Scar. Potato skins. Potato skins. Just an appetizer. I'll probably take them back with me. I'm not going to have one or two of these, but uh, doesn't mean to keep us going till tomorrow. So we finished in the bar. We had a couple of drinks and a snack. So now we're going to head back to the hotel, aren't we? And break out the kettle. Yeah. And have a, a cup of tea, go back on the monorail. Uh, also, I'll talk more in the next vlog around um, some of these deals I've been mentioning today as an app. 
you can use on your phone or tablet to get free deals because then tomorrow we're going to go for a two for one buffet yep the monorail we're going back on tonight um we got a two for one ticket today and then tomorrow as well we're going to ride the roller coaster and we got to buy one get one half price yes some of that ticket so we'll explore more about that into to, into the next vlog that you see so thank you very much for watching we appreciate each and every one of you especially as we uh, hit that 2000 number today it makes us very happy um, and we thank you all for taking the time out to watch us each and every one of you if you like what we do please like and subscribe if you're happy doing because it uh, it helps us and helps grow the channel and we will see the letter. Bye!